Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, we're gonna talk about the man himself, our brother in Christ, Mr. Ye. Because I know that a lot of you have been concerned as to why you're not hearing from him. Now it is said that Ye had a discussion with his friend and says he's just focusing on his kids Danda Academy right now and his wife and he just wants to be left alone. He's happy and he's good but he just wants people to leave him alone and that is something i understand because when you look at the challenges that are coming out with danda academy i believe that it's clear to all of us at this point that if danda academy did not have ye's name tied to it it it, it wouldn't have been dragged through the mud like it did right because many schools are in the media but it's not the fact that the school is in the is in the media it is what it is in the media for and we don't see those things happening at at other schools and listen the things that are going on at other schools they are so horrible that people are just afraid to come out and speak out about it and people just know the right thing to do if something is not good at a school you know that system is already crumbling. You take your ass up and you believe and do so quietly and peacefully just the way you came. But guess what? If he's good and if he's telling his friend that that's all he wants to think of, focus on and be left alone, that is something we must respect also. Let's not forget Kim and Drake. We know that this is what Kim and Drake knows. But guess what? They want to pull him out back into the public because no one is giving Kim that attention that he would give to her. And he's done. And I also believe that, you know, this is one of the reasons why he unfollowed Kim and everyone else that he was, you know, following. It just... He's just done with the public eyes for now. He just wants to be at peace. And, you know, that's something that we all should respect. And I understand because when he disappeared, if you guys remember, he disappeared for a valid reason. He felt as though people were really going to get him and those were not empty threats he did his interview he told us he was being threatened but things got severely worse and the people who were threatening him what they did was to use reverse psychology on the public so after they threatened him they were chasing after him like they were hunting this man down they said that you know there's this particular group that kept on reporting, saying that there was a flare-up of violence in different areas because of him. So there and then you know that he had to retreat, he had to phone peace, because it's not nice when someone is blaming you of things you know not, things you have nothing to do with, Things that you would want to have, you would not want to have any part in, but people are saying, you know, that's because of you. That can be really overbearing. No matter who you are, no matter how much money you have, once you're a good person, you know you're a good person. And once there are stories going around about you, you know, stating otherwise, you know that that can be tough and coupled with people threatening to take you out 
that's another thing. So this is why they have the distraction conspiracy today, saying that the man that we're seeing is not here because the agenda still exists, God forbid. So because the agenda still exists, we should not be paying attention to him. We should not be talking about him because they want to do what they intend to do. But there's a God and these people are not paying attention. He's not allowing you to harm his son. He's not even allowing you people to take away from him and get away with it. Everyone who stole from him, everyone who did him wrong, they stumble and they fell. And it's going to keep happening until someone truly gets that wake-up message and that wake-up call.